Hey guys, it's your buddy Kurt the Consultant. All right, gather around now because today I'm going to share with you the dark side of the Maxisys Pro and the Maxisys Elite. Yes, there is a dark side. And the only reason why I'm, I'm sharing this with you because a lot of people don't have a clue on what problems that are associated with this device when they're owning it. Most people are purchasing this tool blindly thinking that they'll never have a, a situation and that's just not the case. So let me show you in this next slide. So let's begin by giving you a little bit of background on this case study. The product that the client purchased was the Maxisys Elite with the J2534. The other name they call this is the Maxi Flash Elite. Okay, a bit more background on the client. He received his Maxisys Elite kit and updated the J2534 prematurely. Now I say prematurely because the only time I update the J2534 is when I'm going to do a programming event. Okay, that's the only time I'm going to update it. Typically when you do it prematurely, you know, stuff happens like this, okay? And as a result, the VCI would not connect to the tablet or any of the vehicles. And the goal was to fix this without sending it away for repairs. Now, before I continue in the case study, I want to give you guys what I call the general repair process when you buy online. Okay, so this is for anybody who buys on pretty much any online marketplace, whether it be eBay or Amazon or any any online site that is just you know focus on selling the tool so when something happens the first thing you need to do is contact the online merchant so if it's like eBay or Amazon if they have a tech support you know line or something like that you have to contact them via email or over the phone and this could take some time you know depending on I guess what day you call or, or who the company is okay the second step would be to identify the origin of the seller. Now, what a lot of people don't know, especially on Amazon, is they have no idea who that seller is. They don't know where that seller is. Amazon is like what I call like the, the wall that is in front of who the seller is. So you guys are trusting Amazon. They've built that brand so much, or even eBay, they, they've built that brand so much. You don't know the origin of the seller. So when you find out that the seller is from, you know, China, that's who you have to send the tool to. And that's who, uh, you know, eBay or Amazon has to contact and then give you the, their details and on, on how to, you know, return it and how the warranty works. Um, the next step is receiving the shipping instructions. So this is a very vital, uh, part of the process because if they don't send you the right instructions you could label your you know device incorrectly and then you know some shipping carriers won't even accept your 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 tool because you don't have the right documentation and stuff it's a lot of logistics that come to play and that's when you ship the unit to the supplier as well um as i said if you label it wrong um if it's an overseas vendor and let's say you put repair on the description your, your thing won't make it through customs like the Chinese customs is strict as my grandmother like it's really really strict so that's something you have to be uh, considerate about and then the next step that supplier will then send it to Autel alright and during this process the communication is very very limited as I said most of these companies don't have systems in place what happens after the sale okay and they're more focused on you know getting the sale and and this it's a bad 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 um period when you don't have a clue and you can't you know call them because they're overseas and then when it gets to autel it probably takes about maybe two to four weeks uh sometimes less sometimes longer i have some people who will call me saying that they bought their tool online and you know they can't get anybody to uh, follow up on it and, and they'll tell me you know Kurt can you do it but I can't because I have my clients that I have to represent so that's the general online process so I wanted to give you guys this ahead of time so you'll you'll kind of know what you're getting into when you take that route okay 
As you can see here, this is called the Maxi Flash Elite. It comes with the MaxiSys Elite and MaxiSys Pro kits. And it's used for two functions. One, to do your normal diagnostics. And number two, it's also used to do your programming with its J2534 protocol. And it just allows you to connect to the manufacturer site to uh, then inject the calibration file into a particular ECU module. Now, normally, most customers install this CD that comes with the kit. You know, it's just obvious. Yeah, that's what you do. But the problem with this is sometimes the CD comes outdated and it will conflict in the future when you're doing programming. It's important to have the, the most updated uh, drivers and, and software when doing programming. And, and what I found with the, with the kits that come with the Elite and the Pro and all the other tools, Alto doesn't update the, the latest software onto the CD, okay? So knowing this, what I actually do for my client is I'll install the software from Autel servers directly. That way I know it's the latest software. And to take it a step further, I do all the nerdy stuff such as the registration, which normally takes people, I would say 15 minutes on average, but I can do it in 45 seconds. Like I do it, you know, with my eyes closed. Um, the second thing I'll do is I'll download the J2534 drivers for programming. Then I'll install this, uh, the VCI software update application. And lastly, the printing application. Now, sometimes a client will update the JT534 and in doing this, he will corrupt the firmware on it. With this particular client, he called me after the matter and I gave him a few tips to diagnose the problem. Once he tried those tips, he then sent me this email to confirm that there was a critical problem on the VCI. And the email just says, I tried to communicate the, with the vehicle this morning and it still was not recognizing the vehicle. Even with the cable connected to the Elite. I can be at the shop anytime in the morning because it snowed and school is closed. Dave. So now what I'm going to show you is the procedure and how I handled that situation. Step number one is to direct the client to a remote technician who has a special software that will reset the firmware to the previous version. Now, this software is exclusive because it's in Chinese. I know nobody else has it. I have a copy of it actually, but um, you know, even though I don't speak Chinese, I speak computer. Heck, for some people, it's almost the same thing, you know? Anyhow, the next step is to get the repair technician to contact the client and give him the instructions to allow him to connect to the client's PC. Then after this procedure is done, she gave me confirmation that it has been successful. And more importantly, I have a happy client sending me great emails such as this. Hey Curtis, I just want to tell you and thank you for your support of the Autel that I purchased from you. You are the man. You are truly a man of your word when it comes to service after the sale. Amy is also great. She found out that the CD was sent with my Maxisys Elite was outdated. We erased the old software out of the laptop and installed the newest version off the internet and reset my JBox. I tried it this morning. Everything worked great. Thanks again, my friend. I hope you have a great new year. David Strickland. So there you have it, guys. Now, this happened like let's see we're in almost june now this probably happened to my clients about four times and i'm not selling billions of machines you know I, i'm probably doing you know eight to ten units a month right now and if this is happening to my clients what about all these people who are buying online i mean they're selling thousands of tools so you know this is a lot of money that I saved my client, you know, he, he didn't have to send his tool away. He had it, you know, right at his home. And it was just a matter of just getting in touch with the engineer and everything was done. If you can remember on the previous slide, the general repair process online, I was able to prevent a six step procedure into just a two step. Not to say that my clients will never have a hardware problem. 
that will require it you know to be sent away but it's just with a consultant as a point of contact I've seen these problems multiple times to the point where it's clockwork getting them fixed so I hope you can actually see how you're benefiting the most from my direct relationship with the Autel engineers. We can help you address problems that you never even thought were common. And by having me as your first point of contact, I can diagnose the problem, then route it to the cor correct department if it's something out the scope of my capability. In my next video, I'm gonna show you some of the software glitches my clients reported to me and how I get Autel to make beta versions just for my clients to rectify the problem, okay? With that, guys, I'm signing off. If you really believe in what I'm trying to accomplish with my message, smash that like button, subscribe. We need to get this message out as quick as possible, and with your support, we can help a lot of people. Thanks so much, guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.